All right, friends. Now we are doing question number three of super fifty. All right. So I'll do one thing. I'll first write down over here. Super fifty question number three. Right. So now here I'll start off with working note number one. Basic data. So they have told Messrs A is planning to import an equipment from Japan at a cost of three thousand four hundred lakh yen. So I'll write down import cost three thousand four hundred lakh yen. The company may avail loan at how much percent interest? Eighteen percent per annum. This is happening in India. All right, down with quarterly rest. This is having quarterly rest. Now they are saying the company has also an offer from Osaka branch of the Indian bank, extending credit of one eighty days at two percent against opening an irrevocable letter of credit. So one eighty days credit facility at the rate of two percentage for. Okay, at the rate of two percentage per annum, if we open an irrevocable LC, if we open irrevocable LC, they have given the spot rate. They have given it as three forty yen per hundred. We can call it as three point four yen per rupee. Okay, we can call it like this, and they have also given the Forward rate. What is the forward rate they have given? It will be three point four five yen per rupee. And what are the commission charges they have told? Two percent for every twelve months. For every twelve months, friends. For your understanding, LCs are normally not paid in uh, in Japan. LC is paid in India. So that you get a guarantee, and for making the payment in, you know, outside India. So the Indian bank will stand as a guarantee. This is for that purpose that they are giving you this LC. Is everybody clear with this part? So here, basically, what happens is let's analyze the question. Analysis of question. Okay. Here, how much is the amount payable? Three thousand four hundred lakh yen is the amount payable. Am I right? So what we are going to do is this amount will be either payable in India. If that is the case, you end up paying eighteen percent per annum. Okay. Option two: this money is not payable in India. This money will be payable in, let us say, uh, in Japan. So here there are two things coming up. Two percent interest will come. Plus, you need an LC, irrevocable. All right. So let we have to analyze which is a better option out of this. So let us start with option one, payable in India. Amount payable if Indian loan is agreed upon. So here I'll write down point number A. Opening amount payable, friends. As of now, we are supposed to pay three thousand four hundred lakh yen. Correct. Divided by what is the spot rate that you have today? Three point four yen per rupee. Do you get the answer as thousand lakh rupees? Am I right? Okay. You get the amount as thousand lakh rupees. Point number B. Once you get this, on this you have an interest. How much is the interest that you have on this thousand lakh rupees? I think they have told the interest is eighteen percent per annum at quarterly rest. Am I right? So this into eighteen percent for four quarters would be how much? It will be four point five percent for quarter one. Am I right? So how much is thousand lakhs into four point five percent? Do I get the answer as forty five lakh rupees? Now. What is the closing amount at the end of quarter one? Okay, 
do you get the answer as 1045 lakhs right now on this again what will come you will have interest for the next quarter that will be 1045 into 4.5 percentage do i get the answer as 47.025 lakhs correct so once you get this what will be the closing amount at the end of quarter 2 Do I get the answer as one zero nine two point zero two five francs? Perfect. So this is the amount payable where in India. Now I'll write down the next working note. Amount payable if Japan loan is accepted. Okay. So here what I will do is I'll write down step number one. interest payable that is one part of this friends i'll put a line in between i'll put roman number 2 lc charges payable these two things has to be paid right if he is doing it in india correct so now let us start with how much is the interest payable what is going to be his loan amount is it turning out to be 3400 lakh yen correct add interest at the rate of how much percentage Two percentage per annum. So for six months, it will be only one percentage. Thirty-four lakh yen. Okay, so it will be A into B into sorry A into two percent into six by twelve. Okay, so now point number C, I will write down what is the closing amount payable. Do you get the answer as three thousand four hundred and thirty-four lakh? Am I right? What is the exchange rate that you are having on expiry? Is it three point four five yen per rupee? Correct. So I'll write down over here. Rupee payable. Hold on, friends. Uh, there is a small correction. Okay, they have not taken six by twelve. They have taken it as one eighty by three sixty-five. So let us also take it in the same manner. Okay. I'll just make a small change here into 180 by 365. Can you please help me if it's 180 by 365? What will be the amount that will come over here? Okay, so you'll get the number as 3433.53. Correct. Divided by three point four five. If I do, what is the number you will get over here? Nine ninety five plus two two lakh rupees. Okay. Everybody clear with this part. Whereas LC charges payable will be how much? Here we can write down point number A. Okay. How much is the LC charges that would be on thousand lakh rupees? Today we will be having a loan of thousand lakh rupees. Correct. On this. Two percent is going to be the LC charges. Am I right? That is for twelve months. So here I will do what I will do six by twelve. Do you get the answer as ten lakh rupees? Now, friends, this ten lakh rupees is payable now. Am I going to pay now or am I going to pay after uh, uh, six months? I will make the payment only after six months. So I will presume I am taking a loan of this ten lakh. So on this, what will happen? You will have interest ten lakh into four point five percent into two by twelve. Sorry, not two by twelve, six by twelve. No, no, no. One minute, friends. It should be nine percent, not six by twelve. Four point five percent will come twice now. Correct? Eighteen percent is per annum rate. Am I right? So it would be. Ten lakh into eighteen percent into six by twelve. So, do you get the answer as zero point nine zero lakh rupees? Correct. So, if I add up these two things, what is the total that you get over here? Do you get the total as ten point nine zero lakh rupees? Correct. So, when you add up these two things, do you get the answer as one double o six point one two lakh rupees payable? Am I right? Okay. So this is the amount payable if you go for the Japan loan. 
Indian loan you have to pay one zero nine two. So which is better, friends? Indian loan is better or Japan loan is better? Japan loan is better. With this, friends, we come to the conclusion of this question also.